Hi everybody, this is Matthew from Disaster Area. I'm going to show you guys the latest firmware update for the DPC-5 controllers. This is uh, version 1.01. .01. Uh, it fixes a few issues that we've seen and we've been informed about by customers and it adds a couple of nice new features. So um, one of the questions we have about the DPC-5 is do I need to put my uh, timeline or Mobius in one of the effects loops? And the answer really is no. We've got the timeline and the Mobius run directly from the main out. So we go from the main out to the Mobius left in, Mobius left out to the timeline left in, and then timeline left out out to the amp. Uh, what we're doing is we're using MIDI to control them. So we can change patches using MIDI CC uh, program messages, and we can also bypass them that way too. Um, in version 1.00, you were forced to create blank patches in order to bypass the controllers. Uh, what we've changed here is in violet mode, which is accessed by pressing and holding the mode switch from MIDI mode, from white mode, uh, is we've uh, changed the way the program uh, messages are sent. So if you press the center button here, you can see that we've engaged 00A on both controllers, on both devices here. Um, this is kind of a home base, so pressing this instantly gets you back to zero on both controllers. If we press the up buttons, you can see we go to zero, zero B, uh, zero one, zero two, and press and hold to scroll. This works the same way it did before. The change is if you go down from zero. So if we start at zero, and then we go down one patch, you can see the timeline is now bypassed, as is the Mobius, and uh, the up button is lit. What this is telling you is that um, although there may not be any sound coming from the, the timeline or the Mobius, we have sent them a valid command and they are bypassed. So if you decide to store a preset with these two saved like this, when that preset is recalled, it will come up in bypass mode. So this is a way for you to set a patch that won't, um, doesn't have any Mobius or timeline on it. Um, there's one other thing we can do here, and this is a little hard to see, but if we go down once from bypass, You'll notice there's no change from either device. The left button, the down button on both sides is lit up. We call this don't care. Um, this particular setting does not send a MIDI program change at all. So if, for example, you wanted to have your DPC-5 set up um, just controlling the timeline looper, but never sending the timeline a program change message, this is what you would save in all your presets. So if you save this, this don't care setting in your preset, when the preset is recalled, it won't send any change to the timeline. All the other MIDI controls will still work, expression, looper control, things like that, tap tempo, but it won't send a program change message. If you go down once from don't care, we're back to 99B on both. So the rest works normally. You can scroll presets down from here. Um, so press the center button in MIDI mapping mode, which is violet, and then down one from that is bypass, and down one from bypass is don't care. So we've gotten you a couple of extra options here. Uh, the firmware will be available as a free download on our website and new controllers shipped after today will all have this factory installed. Uh, we've got a few more changes in future for version 1.1 which is scheduled to be out sometime in the next two weeks. Thanks!